And welcome to Hibs. What was it about this move that attracted you? Well, first of all, it's a, a chance to get back to, to playing and training. Um, and hopefully, that's what I'm going to do. You know, train and, and, and show everybody that I'm able to play and hopefully get as many games under my belt as possible. How frustrating a time has it been? I think it was November 2016 since you last played first team football. Yeah, well, it was a roller coaster emotionally and, and uh, fitness wise as well. Um, but I've been fit for the for the last uh, three, four months, you know, since February. So um, I had a good run until the end of the season. But before that, yes, it was frustrating. You know, it was uh, it looked like it was getting better, then it didn't, and and so on. But uh, finally, I'm, I feel fit. Uh, I'm ready to to work hard, be on the pitch, and and hopefully uh, be on the pitch in the stadium as well. You know Neil Lennon from your time at hmm. Bolton. How helpful was that in terms of convincing you to come here? Well, of course, uh, that was uh, one of the reasons I came here. Uh, he gave me a call and. And, and and told me about the club and, and uh, that I have a, an opportunity here uh, to come. So yeah, it was important. And then hopefully I can uh, I can you know show my quality here and 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 ideally work work hand in hand with the club. We we can achieve um, good things. It was a very difficult time at Bolton when you were last together. What have you made of the job Neil Lennon's been doing from afar, and has he changed in any way since you? Met back up with him? No, he hasn't. <laughs> He's still uh, as energetic as, as he was back then. You know, um, he wants the, the, the training session to be as, as high tempo as possible. Um, you know, attacking defenders, crosses, shots, uh, everything. So, so the last two sessions I've, I've been here now uh, it was all uh, high tempo and high intensity sessions, and and you know that was exactly what I how I remembered him. See, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a difficult time at Bolton when, when you and Neil Lennon were both there. You come to Hibs, who are a team really flying high and going into Europe and stuff. Is there a, a different feel, even even though it's the same manager here, um, to, to when you knew him before at Bolton? Yeah, well, obviously there, there's different circumstances now, but uh, it's a different team, uh, different ambitions. You know, we we have a game coming up, like you said, in in Europe, and and we we'll, I think. Not just me, but everybody has so much looking forward to it, and, and hopefully uh, we can seize the moment and then and then, and go through. Um, back then in Bolton was uh, was good times. I really enjoyed my time in Bolton every every year. Uh, but we were we were fight. We couldn't get close to the playoffs that season, and uh, and after that, when I left, uh, the the team got relegated, unfortunately, to the to the, the third division. Um, so yeah, of course, different circumstances, but the, the training method and the and 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 the, the hard work is is the same. Uh, sometimes you you find yourself in a better position, sometimes you don't. What did they want to tell you about your, your prospects for, for playing games here at the end? Obviously, there will be a lot of competition to, to, to playing goals. What did Neil tell you that this sold you on your chance to come and play games here? Well, after first of all, is is the chance to to be involved with the first team as as, as close as possible. So, you know, I'm not uh, gonna come here and say, yeah, I'm gonna play, and 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 you know, just because I say it, uh, you have to uh, make yourself uh, be available through training and and show yourself in training. And once training is is good enough and and everybody's happy enough, then I'm sure. Uh, and hopefully, then I get a chance, and 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 then it's up to the the performance on the pitch if you keep it or not. So that's that's my aim. I don't, you know, I I can see this um, uh, some other keepers who are doing really well, and some um, Offi is injured with his finger at the moment. But uh, for me, my focus is only on training at the moment, and 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 hopefully, if I get my chance, then then focus on the game. The game comes late. Very quickly, what's your thoughts about playing European football? Are you excited to, get to do that? Ah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's exciting. You know, I've never, um, well, I say I've never, I've, I've been uh, with Liverpool for my first season um, uh, in Europe, in Europa League, but um, but again, this is another opportunity to 
it's a long way obviously because in the first round but uh, we're trying to to get through and then it's, there's a lot of there's a lot of hard work to be done but but once if you're through there's a lot of uh, enjoyment uh, coming with it so we are like, excited to be in the competition and uh, we like we, we would like to get into the, the group stages hopefully you all know what a good European run can do for a team obviously with Martin last season you, it's a real chance for Hibs to can I get a flyer at the start of the season to get big nights at Easter Road, you know, over the next few weeks, months? Yeah, but I mean, exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it, it makes, makes a season uh, more colourful, uh, European run, and being in Europe, you know, more exciting. And uh, I think so. I mean, as a player, that's what we want, and I, I think the fans want the same. So, um, hopefully, again, it goes hand in hand, and uh, we're going to celebrate... Um, Many good, good victories and good and, and, and good performances in Europe as well as in Scotland. Adam, has um, this move been made more attractive by the fact that there's a couple of other people up from Liverpool, i.e., Stephen Gerrard and Gary McAllister, now they're in, involved in Scottish football with Rangers? Well, I think looking now, it could have, but for me, it was simply. Uh, try to get the opportunity that I've, I've been given, and I'm very grateful for that to, to be. Like I said, to be involved closely uh, with the first team football again, and uh, and that's that was my ambition. It's nothing to do with uh, with the rest of the guys coming up. But since then, obviously, I I opened my eyes looking around, and there's many people coming. And of course, Steven Gerrard being here in in Scotland uh, directs a lot of focus, probably from your uh, company as well uh, to the ESPL and um, ESPL. Sorry. Um, SPFL, yeah, yeah. SPFL, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pardon. Is that something yeah. that you know? I mean, do you think there'll be more eyes on Scottish football now? People, yeah, I think so. Rightly or wrongly, will will now look at it more and because of of the names involved, Brendan Rodgers, Stephen Jay. Mm, I think so. I have this vibe. I have this feeling. Uh, people are talking about more and more um, and that's that's good. I think that's that's brilliant for Scottish football and and. Um, and then I think many teams can show its quality for the big world. Talking of Liverpool, um, have you managed to speak to Loris Karius since the Champions League final? Well, we no. I mean, I, I spoke to him after, straight after the uh, final on the pitch, but that was obviously very emotional. Um, and of course, I any goalkeepers can can relate to uh, what he feels. That was a big stage. But uh, this is a new season now, and uh, and then hope I'm hoping for him that he he, he bounces back and then he can show himself again. Do you think it's, it's for a goalkeeper when something like that happens? Is it a long summer? You just want maybe a game right away? Do you think he has to mentally be prepare himself again and try and block that memory out? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's there's big pressure at Liverpool. Um, there's, there's the whole world is watching all the time. Um, you're under the microscope, so it's not going to be easy. Uh, but it's not impossible either. You know, you see many keepers bouncing back from from uh, bad from, or bad or bad mistakes. Um, maybe the fact that it's it's World Cup at the moment, you know, it takes a focus away a little bit from the Champions League final. Um, but again, it's it's again it's 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 what he does on the training run and then and mainly what he does on the on the pitch on on Saturday night. So. Or Saturday afternoons, or Sunday, or Monday, or whenever it's broadcasted. But uh, but yeah, I'm hoping for him that he can bounce back. Do you think some of the criticism is unfair, or is that just part of the job when you're a goalkeeper? Well, it, to be fair, I I, I haven't really uh, seen the the criticisms. You know, I, I mean, of course, I, I I can see the obvious and then see what happened, but I I haven't really looked into what was going on in the in the newspapers or in the in the internet. Try not to look anyway. Did you speak to anybody else about Scottish football? Maybe somebody who's worked here before and the Scottish players have played with all ten years before you came up. No, really. I I I'll be honest with you. I I didn't uh, need to uh, speak to anybody. For me, I I know of uh, especially with the Edinburgh teams because uh, we had. We had uh, a guy from from Hungary here a long time ago, uh, David Grof. Uh, I think he was in the UC team. So I, Utaf, I had we had. I know maybe I shouldn't mention this, but we had a couple of Hungarians in Hearts as well. Uh, so so Edinburgh uh, was always on 
on in my, it's always looked up for the, for the results i know the the past couple of years you know the club uh hit lows and very highs as well uh with the uh with the FA cup um and now again going back to to what i said before for me was was to was to to show myself in training and 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 get get a chance to play hopefully that was the main thing and i'm very glad to be here uh everybody is fantastic in the club uh the people i met working for the club or or on the streets has been brilliant you know friendly warm um so i'm really hoping that it's going to be a, a good season with exciting uh games to come in europe yeah as well as in Scotland.